This is the Boeing 7879, the longest range variant of the Dreamliner series. The journey of the 787 began in the early 2000s when Boeing unveiled plans for a new, mid-size, long-range aircraft designed to replace older models and compete with offerings from Airbus. Initially known as the 7E7, the project was ambitious from the start, aiming to redefine long-haul travel with unprecedented fuel efficiency, environmental performance, and passenger comfort. In 2003, after receiving strong interest from airlines, Boeing formally named the new aircraft the 787 Dreamliner. Central to the design philosophy was the extensive use of composite materials, making it the first large commercial aircraft to have its primary structure made largely of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, which contributed to significant weight savings, enhanced fuel efficiency, and reduced maintenance requirements. The Dreamliner also introduced more electric systems, reducing the reliance on pneumatic systems and further improving efficiency. But the innovative use of composites, while offering many benefits, also necessitated new manufacturing and assembly techniques, leading to learning curves and delays. The first 7878 variant's maiden flight took place in December 2009, more than two years behind the original schedule. Following the entry into service of the 7878, Boeing introduced the 7879 variant to offer more capacity and range, and the first model took to the skies in 2013. The Dash 9 boasts several technological and design advancements, including larger windows, a more comfortable cabin altitude, advanced aerodynamics, and ultra-efficient engines from General Electric or Rolls-Royce. These innovations have made the 7879 a favorite among airlines for its operational efficiency and among passengers for its enhanced comfort levels, especially on long-haul routes. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Boeing 7879. Stepping inside, the aircraft boasts a cabin width of 18 feet or 5.5 meters, providing a spacious environment for passengers and crew alike. This width facilitates a range of seating configurations, catering to different airline preferences and service levels. The cabin's height further enhances the sense of space, standing at 8 feet or 2.44 meters tall, allowing for ample headroom and contributing to a more open and airy atmosphere. The layout is designed with passenger comfort and operational efficiency in mind. It typically accommodates between 290 and 406 passengers, depending on the airline's chosen configuration with a standard three-class layout featuring business, premium economy, and economy sections. This flexibility allows airlines to tailor the onboard experience to their market's needs and preferences, from high-density arrangements to more spacious, luxury-focused configurations. Overhead bins are significantly larger than those found in previous generations of aircraft, accommodating more carry-on luggage and reducing the need for gate-checking bags. The bins are designed to open upwards, maximizing aisle space during boarding and deplaning and contributing to a more streamlined and efficient passenger experience. In economy class, seats typically offer a pitch of 31 to 33 inches or 79 to 84 centimeters, with a width of approximately 17 to 19 inches or 43 to 48 centimeters. Premium economy and business class seats offer greater pitch and width with lie-flat seats in business class providing the ultimate comfort for long-haul flights. The materials used in the seats, along with ergonomic design principles, ensure passengers enjoy support and comfort throughout their journey. Talking about in-flight entertainment and connectivity features, most airlines equip their 7879s with state-of-the-art IFE systems, featuring large, high-definition touchscreens, an extensive library of movies, TV shows, music and games, as well as satellite-based Wi-Fi connectivity. The cabin lighting system utilizes LED technology that can mimic natural light patterns, helping to reduce jet lag on long-haul flights by adjusting to different time zones and creating a more comfortable environment. The lighting system can produce a wide range of colors and intensities, 
setting the mood for different phases of the flight, from boarding to dining and resting. Noise and vibration levels are significantly lower than those of previous generation aircraft, thanks to its advanced engines, aerodynamic design, and the use of composite materials in its construction. The pressurization and air circulation systems are state-of-the-art, providing a cabin altitude of approximately 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters, significantly lower than the 8,000 feet or 2,440 meters common in older aircraft. Lastly, the lavatories are designed with passenger comfort and convenience in mind. They are more spacious than those found in older aircraft and feature touchless fixtures, large mirrors, and ambient lighting. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The flight deck prioritizes intuitive operation, enhanced situational awareness, and reduced pilot workload. The layout is a significant departure from older generations, incorporating large, customizable, multifunction displays that provide pilots with a comprehensive overview of flight data, navigation, and system status at a glance. These displays are engineered to adapt to a variety of flight situations, ensuring that critical information is always front and center. The avionics suite incorporates several groundbreaking features, including the head-up display system for both the captain and the first officer, which projects vital flight information onto a transparent screen in the pilot's line of sight, allowing for continuous monitoring of flight parameters and navigation cues without diverting attention from the outside view. One of the most lauded advancements is the electronic flight bag functionality integrated directly into the cockpit system. This feature eliminates the need for traditional paper charts and manuals, providing pilots with instant access to flight planning tools, navigational charts, performance data, and reference materials. The FMS represents a leap forward in navigation and flight planning capabilities as it offers enhanced route optimization, fuel conservation, and airspace utilization, directly contributing to the 7879's reputation for operational efficiency. The FMS interfaces seamlessly with global ATC systems, supporting advanced communication, navigation, and surveillance capabilities that improve flight efficiency and safety. Another cornerstone of the avionics suite is its comprehensive communication system, which supports satellite and high-frequency data links. This system ensures constant global connectivity between the aircraft and ground operations, facilitating real-time data exchange for weather updates, ATC instructions, and operational support. The aircraft is equipped with an advanced autopilot system that aids in managing workload and enhancing flight precision. This system supports a wide range of automatic flight functions, from basic autopilot operations to sophisticated auto landing capabilities, even in low visibility conditions. It's designed to ensure smooth and precise control inputs, improving passenger comfort and flight safety. In terms of navigation, the 7879 incorporates state-of-the-art GPS technology coupled with an IRS to provide accurate real-time positioning information. This accuracy is crucial for modern navigation strategies like RNP and RNAV, which improve the efficiency and safety of flight operations, particularly in congested or challenging airspace. And finally, the Dreamliner's integrated approach to systems management is facilitated by its common core system, which acts as the central nervous system of the aircraft. The CES integrates the operation of various avionics and utility systems, streamlining data management and system monitoring, and not only enhances reliability and performance, but also simplifies maintenance procedures, reducing turnaround times and operational costs. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. At the heart of the 7879's performance capabilities are its engines, offered with two options, the General Electric GENX 1B or the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000. These engines produce 71,000 pounds force and are marvels of modern engineering, designed to provide exceptional efficiency, reduced emissions, and lower operating costs. The GENX 1B 
and Trent 1000 engines are both high-bypass turbofan engines that utilize the latest in aerospace technology, including composite materials, advanced fan blade designs, and innovative combustion systems, which contribute to a significant reduction in fuel consumption and noise levels compared to previous generations of engines. The choice between these engines allows airlines to select the power plant that best fits their operational needs and preferences. The aircraft requires 9,300 feet or 2,800 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum payload capacity of 116,000 pounds or 53,000 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,000 feet, or 610 meters, and a maximum cruising altitude of 43,100 feet, or 13,100 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0.90, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.85, a maximum range of 7,635 nautical miles which is 8,790 miles or 14,140 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 5,500 feet or 1,680 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Boeing 7879 is $300 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.